That's right. We are cooking up something that's uh, known for uh, the Brits. Yes, we are. Good morning. How Good are you? Good morning. How are you? Good. Joe mentioned he was wearing his tie, and Ali has her, her or Ali has her hat on. Yep. I wore my dress whites today just for the. You could have stood up for Kate. I I wanted to. I was up <laughs> early enough. I watched it. So. All right. So you are cooking fish and chips today. We're going to make fish and chips with my twist on it. I'm going to make it nice and healthy. And very simple beer, for you. At least. And I brought you a beer. What, what else? You know, I mean, what else do you drink with a fi with a fish fry? I don't need anything else. I need We're not making morning. fish fries. Though, so. <laughs> you are gonna. It's gonna be an actually fried fish. Nope, it's not gonna be a fried fish. But we're gonna make it look like a fish and chip, and we're gonna make it nice and crunchy, healthy. We gotta have that healthy option in there. What are some of the ingredients? That some of the ingredients: have? fish, cod fish. is the number one. Cod, cod. Really? That's the fish they use in England. I didn't know that. And I'm gonna say it's the prince. Uh, it's his favorite fish. Is that right? I don't know. I'm lying. You watched that. I know. I did, I did watch the wedding, but he didn't say anything about fish, which was surprising. Surprised. I did too. I thought he was going to say, hey, Chef Marco, make a fish and chip and all. He didn't say that. Here's but we're going to make it with a, a sweet malt vinegar drizzle, and we're going to put some panko crust on it. Oh. And we're going to have a little bit of olive oil. Got to have olive oil. So it's very simple. So there are some of the ingredients that you're going to need to get together to make this. And how much time is it going to take to make something like this? Well, I figure with the royal wedding taking about six hours of the morning show, it's going to take me about four and a half. Excellent. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. It should be about seven minutes. That's it. That's it. Can I cook on real high heat. Excellent. Yeah. I run on really high heat, too. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we will be back. We'll be putting things together in just a short bit. Back to you guys. We have uh, Chef Marco from Marco's Italian Restaurant and Marco's Deli back with us to back to have some fun, I'm some back. British fun. Some British fun. Yes, exactly. you're making some fish and chips. I am. You know, the British think they created the fish fry. Buffalo is known for the fish fry. I know it, it is. is. It is. But we're not going to make a fish fry. I, I kind of led you on a little bit, but we're going to make something a little healthier. The object of fish and chips is when you do the beer batter and you drop the fish in the deep fryer, uh -huh. all those pieces that fall off the beer batter, that's the chips. Really? Yeah. Buffalo added the French fries. It really did. I that was the original. That. Yeah, that's the original myth. But we're gonna make. The so we're gonna make something healthier. Okay. We're gonna do baked French fries. We're gonna do a baked fish. We're gonna make it nice and crunchy, and we're gonna finish it off with some nice dark beer. I, it really. That's, that's the first thing I noticed I know when I came over here. I know it's only eight thirty in the right. morning, but you know. <laughs> in my world, it's time for happy hour. She started about five to eight, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna All right. Just so some of the things that we need. Some of the things the we need. Fry. Just some panko crust, some pepper, a fresh lemon, some potatoes to make the fries, and a little bit of olive oil. And you said cod is the the cod natural. Cod is the nat is the na is national fish, I guess you want to call it. In Britain. In Britain. Yeah, and Britain. can you use other fish? You could. Yeah, absolutely. Taste different. A little bit. Flakier. Cod is a lot flakier. It's light. It's nice and white, and it's a real mild fish. But if you're not into cod and you want to use haddock, haddock is real close. Whiting is real close. Uh, sole can be used. Flounder. I mean, anything can be really used. Now, what is the test when you go to buy fish to make sure it's fresh? I'm a big smell freak. Gotta okay. smell it. That's what my husband always says. Yeah, always smell it. If it smells like fish, really strong, pungent, stay away. If it feels slimy, stay away. So you should actually ask if you can touch it? Y yeah, I do. What should it feel like? I mean, it Just seems like all the fish... Feel you'll better. know the difference between a slimy fish. It's got like a little gooey stickiness to it. I'm sorry, this is morning TV. And the but sheen, the oily the sheen. The oily right? sheen, exactly. Absolutely. That means it's not fresh. My fish comes in fresh Friday morning, and it's... Believe okay. me, I'm a, I'm a freak. All right, so check out your fish first. <laughs> That's Sorry, a Joe. Laughing at, yeah, freak thanks. Thing. laughing at my freak thing. I'm a fish freak. That's great. Morning TV. And the time that it takes to crew, to finish up this dish. The time that it, I cook it on 500 degrees, so it's going to take four to half, five, six minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. All right, fish cooks fast. It does. The fries take about 20 minutes, so we're going to get those. Those are already going to get that started. Yeah, we're going to get those started. All right, but I'll show well, you how to make. We'll them. be back for the long segment. We'll also hear about your restaurants. Thank you. All right, thanks Absolutely. so much, uh, Ellie and uh, Joe. Thank you uh, very much, Joe and Ellie. Chef Marco here with our cod. With our cod. He is making uh, traditional British food, English food, uh, fish and chips. Chef Marco, of course, from Marco's Restaurant and Marco's uh, Deli, Marco's Italian Restaurant, I should say. Thank you. And this is very exciting because it's going to be healthy. This is healthy. Now, I was telling you earlier, if, if I was to do the traditional fish and chips here, we have a big pot of boiling oil, be bubbling all over the place, you'd have beer batter and flour, and it's, it's a mess, and I don't want to get into it. So what we're going to do is we have a nice, fresh piece of fish mm -hmm. and olive oil. We're just going to put it in a, in a, a uh, what do you call this? A pan. Casserole pan? A casserole pan. Uh, I use pizza trays at work, so this is really fancy for us. You know, so. <laughs> we're going to put a little olive oil on the bottom of the pan. And here's those crazy tongs again. Man. And you just want to put the skin side just down. Just plain? You see the skin side? Yep. You want to put that down in the pan? Okay. Okay. Do you have to wash the fish before you well, cook it? Came it came out of the water. It should be clean. No, I do wash oh. our fish. I know. I did it done. And then we're just going to do a little 
black pepper. Okay. A little salt. And that panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs. Joe just told me those are Japanese breadcrumbs. These crumbs? are Japanese breadcrumbs. And we're just going to coat it really thick because we want it to get nice and crunchy oh, and, and crispy. And it's only on the top. It's only on the top. Okay. Yeah, real simple. And then, do you know how to zest? Of course I do. All right, zest. Zest. Yeah, that was good. Oh, you mean so, with the lemon? Yeah, just the zest. Don't get too deep into the uh, rind because then it'll get bitter. So we just want to throw some of that lemon zest onto the top of the fish. Is that enough? Yeah, does, perfect. Does that get rid of the um, fishy and smell? This is the, uh, well, on your hands it does, absolutely. And then you're going to just give it a little tap to get rest, the rest of that uh, goodness out of there. Okay. So then we're going to take the ends where there's a lot of juice, and we're just going to squeeze a little more juice on top. And we're going to cook this at 500 degrees. It's going to be about seven minutes, six and a half High minutes. High heat. High heat. Okay? Okay. Now, through the magic of TV, I'm going to have it done in a little while. But while we're waiting for our fish, we're going to start our fries. And the fries take about 20 minutes, so you really do want to get those in first. Okay. And you're going to bake these, too? I'm going to bake these, too. So All right. I'm going to square off the potato mm -hmm. so that it doesn't rock and roll. You don't peel it? No. Wash it. Okay. Skin on. This is traditional. We're talking English, All right. British food here. This is the way they do it in England. While you're cutting up the potatoes, tell me about your restaurants. Okay. I have a full-service restaurant on Buffalo's West Side. Been there for 23 years, since okay. 1988, Marco's Italian Restaurant. Uh, right by the Peace Bridge, right by Rich Products. On, a, on your way downtown, I'm right there, you know, right off the thruway. I also have three Italian delis throughout western New York. Uh, one in Williamsville, one in Kenmore, and one in North Buffalo. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you serve asking? fish and chips at any of them? I, we do. We do. But we do them differently, differently there, too. We don't have a deep fryer. We actually have them, they're a breaded fish, uh -huh. and we grill it on a panini grill. Ah. And we have these nice, beautiful Italian rolls. We put them on top of there. We make the biggest fish sandwich. Uh, I love oh, yeah, fish it's sandwiches. Insane. It's insane. So I got my potatoes in here, just not to change subject. But we're going to drizzle a little olive oil. Again, a little bit of salt. That's, That's going to take some of the moisture out, make them a little crispier. We're going to throw them in. Let those get nice and brown. That's it. Forget about it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so you have to wait five minutes for the cod. Five minutes for the cod, about 20 minutes for the fry. So put the fries in and walk away and then come back and do the fish. Do you have to flip the fish or anything? Nope. Okay. Nice and easy. I make Ding. it simple. You do make it simple. Keep it simple, silly. Kiss. What other things can people find to buy and eat at your restaurant? Uh, we have everything from pastas and veal and chicken and steak. And tonight I'm doing tuna and salmon. And we have a million different salads. The antipasto is the biggest in the city. Mm. Uh, we just uh, we do a great job. My staff is great. They, they love what they do. They love putting out the best possible food in the western New York. And that's why I've been there so long. I agree with you. Can we try some of the food right now? We you think can. for the magic of, te magic of television? Magic of TV, we're going to do it. Okay. All right, I should grab my fork. I got you right there. I got oh, you, you do. That's why I love you. <sighs> well, the last time I saw Allie eating with her fingers, so I make sure the forks are ready. Or that and her hands are clean. Pick on you there, honey. <laughs> 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 so you can see all the crunchy goodness on there. You need a plate. I have a plate right here. Oh, I came prepared. Oh, you did? Yeah. You came with a pine tree. Yeah, I don't fool around. What is this? I hope it's not like a oh, wait. bag you find on no. the airlines. <laughs> it's so good. I'm hyperventilating. You guys are great. This is a traditional way of serving um, French fries in, in uh, England. Just just, oh, look at that. And they put it right in top of here. And we're going to finish it with a little malt, uh, malt honey glaze. Oh. See how cool this looks? Mm. All right. I've got now, very little doing, time. I have to try all this. I have a spicy mm. chili ketchup. I have to try this. Sorry. I have a fork. Mm. This is just mm. honey and vinegar together, and we make it sweet. All right. Victoria, We're I asked time. you last time, have you ever seen love? No. Yes, I, I just tasted love. There you you guys, back to you. <laughs> I always eat my uh, brown paper. We're making fish. If we have any leftover, I throw it out. But Chef Marco from Marco's no, Italian don't Restaurant, throw it out. you've got a great idea for a second helping. I do. I know it's not British, but this is one of the hottest rages in, in the culinary world. Is it avocado? World. This is guacamole. Guacamole. It's guacamole. A little bit of garlic in there. Mm. Lettuce. We're going to make a cool fish taco, and we're going to use all of our ingredients if uh, Allie and Joe left any for us. I mean, they, they, they were all here it. glomming it down, right? Nice aged cheddar. And I'm going to use some of that spicy ketchup right across. Kick it up a notch. You don't have to reheat the fish. That no, might it's just make like it a little tuna. You want to leave it, leave it nice and cool. You know, leave it chilled. We're going to throw it on here. We're going to just give it a little break, break up. up. you got to have it with fries. I have fries on everything. Cold fries? Cold fries. Just, I know, it's crazy. But here we have it. It's a beautiful fish taco. It didn't go to waste. So we're going to have this for lunch. Voila. 
Look at that. Not too bad. And you said that was all the rage. That's all the rage. Now, Victoria, I'm on another show called Come Dine With Me. It's on CW23, 10.30 Sunday nights. Please tune in. Cheers. And what do you do on that show? I'm the chef. And I'm you a host. with simple, and simple folks like myself. I do. Absolutely. And I'm not saying you're simple. I'm just saying. <laughs> I said it. It's all right. I know. It's, it's, too it's late all good. It's all good. We, we showcase a lot of uh, restaurants around Western New York and chefs, and we have a good time doing it. Oh, my gosh. That That's delicious. Thank you. And it's actually still warm, so you could actually do this the first oh, yeah, day, too. Absolutely. Yeah, you could do this. No problem. Cook it, throw it on a taco shell, wrap it up. Anything's good in a taco shell. You know, you could just kind of marry it all mom, together. Moms out there, the kids will love that because oh, yeah. the flavor is very mild, the right. fish is. Exactly. They think they're getting away with something, eating, eating not healthy, but that's healthy. That's good. Quick meal as well. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you very Here's much. Here's the royal couple. Here. God save the queen. Absolutely. Allie. <laughs>